Hey guys, this is Bennington Airsoft, and today I'm going to be showing you my whole Airsoft armory. And I guess I'm just going to kind of start from the top to the bottom. So, up here we got a poster that came with my D Boy Scarl. And then on this little shelf here, We've got a lot of safety get. We've got four pairs of safety glasses stacked up on some old videos from when I was a kid. And under it, we've got our walkie talkies and a bunch of batteries. And right here, these things. Well, we've got a really long ramrod and normal size ram rod or unjamming rod whatever you want to call it and then we've got two of these little tubes you pour some BBs into one of these and then you take this and shove it down in there to load your gun but those are for my really for my old guns that are pieces of crap they load these clips right here they're not high caps and right here we got an L96 clip and a speed loader. I think that's standard 150. Uh, right here we've got an airsoft tactical knife slash bayonet and let's take it out here. Here you can see it. Right. That's not mine, it's my brother's. And also my brother's holster for a pistol. And then another poster that came with my D-Boy's scar right there. Alright, so going down, we've got... This gun is completely broken. It's like, it's an L85. It's it's a spring gun and it's all plastic it's not even mine or my brother's and then we've got a shotgun just a cheap one that you can pick up at Walmart which is also not mine it's my friend's and we we broke the weight off by accident and here's the mag for the L85 Alright, moving along here, we got just some, a bunch of random tools. Here's a battery for my AK-47, which I'll see in a minute. So, just a cardboard box, box filled with tools and stuff. And we open up this and you see some homemade airsoft cleanwars. made out of rat traps and nails and duct tape. And some other stuff. So what you do, you would do is you pull this down and lock it, and then tie a string to the thing that makes it go off. And when someone trip, well, walks over the string, it flings BBs at them. So just give you, give you a quick look at that. Alright, now, now we just have a lot of empty containers of BBs and one somewhat full one. We've also got some marking BBs right here. My little loading thingy, well I put this in my tactical vest and if I ever need to reload in a war I use it. Because I don't have an extra bag for my scar. Just, yeah, a lot of empty BB containers. And another somewhat full one. Alright. So, I guess I'll show you guys over here. Right here we've got a ghillie wrap that has not been used yet. It hasn't even been set up. And a ghillie suit because of my brother 
being a sniper. And then here's my tactical vest. You can see right there it's black because we have ores in a woodland environment. So, yeah. Let's just move down to the bottom shelf now, I guess. All right, right here you can see my D-Boy Scarl. And yes, I know it's tan and I do um, have a woodland environment here, so it wasn't the best choice of color for camo, but I don't, I just wasn't really thinking about camo, I was thinking about looks, because it looks much nicer not being the black, and there's not really all that much stealth involved in our wars all the time. And I'll just give you guys a quick view at this. I got a vertical grip on it, a barrel extension, but no flash hider. Here, I'll show you the flash hider. Just, um, it's all worn out in here. But, so basically, you can just slide it on and off. And in my review for this gun, I had it taped on but I took that tape off folding front sight right here up and down you just press a little button 300 round high cap magazine fire selector uh, mag release button still got some BBs in there folding stock adjustable cheek rest battery compartment and adjustable buttstock without the butt plate back sight and yeah it came with a charger I'm not sure it's this, it's this plugs into that alright moving along here we've got uh, target, not a reset target from Crossman Airsoft. And as you can see, we were trying to sell this one because we don't really use it that much. But yeah, never been open. It's still got the plastic on it. Got it for Christmas and just never really felt like opening it. Alright, and now here's my AK-47 custom painted. My friend did that for me. It's got, I think, a 300 round high cap mag with wind up. But the wind up on this thing is a little strange. It's really, it's a lot more difficult to wind up. And as you can hear, that's not a BB. That's something, that's a part of the mag that's broken. It doesn't wind up the best anymore. So, yeah, it's custom painted. I broke. I broke the stock off and part of the sight, so that's why I didn't do a review on this gun because it's just so beaten up. And here I guess we'll move on to the final gun, which is my brother's L96. It's got um like 450 FPS. Oh yeah, uh, the AK has like 300 something FPS. It's higher though, and the scar over there has 400 plus FPS. And as you can see, it's got a mag in it. Here is the mag release button right there. And um, that it's not the scope that would come with another version of the gun. That's one of the ones we had here. My brother got the one without the scope. And he had to buy some scope rings with it. This came from Air Splat. The AK came from Air Splat. And the um, Scar came from Airsoft GI. And so this has been a look at my Airsoft armory. And please rate, comment, and subscribe.